Come on down here, brother. <laughs> you all right? What, what, is, what is your real name? Ted. Ted. The Theodore. Theodore what? Theodore Horowitz. Theodore Horowitz, yeah. perfect. I'm half Italian, half Jewish. Where'd Papa Chubby come from? Papa Chubby came from Bernie Worrell, the um, keyboard player from P-Funk. No I kidding. Was, I was at a jam and he had a song called Papa Chubby. And he looked at me and went, Papa Chubby. So I named my, <laughs> I named my band Papa Chubby. No, it's great. It worked out. And uh... and then they said, you're Papa Chubby. I said, yeah, I am. <laughs> Why not? I think that guitar yeah. playing, man. Is Thanks, brother. Draw it. Appreciate it. it. How you been doing? You've been working on the last time I was here. I said, you, were gonna, you told me you were going to work on your guitar playing. Uh, dude, I, in front of somebody like you, it's like telling ba on. Babe Ruth I'm hitting a little bit. <laughs> no, I, I, nothing. Nothing's happened with it. I'm still horrible. I'll never be good at it. Uh, and, but, why, but I'd rather just listen to someone like you play. I well, really, thank you. I'd now, rather listen to you tell jokes. Well, where do you hook up? Like, What is the lovely singer's name here? That is Sari Shore. Uh, now, She's a dear friend of mine. Where um, you find someone like that? That's extraordinary. The, the question is where she found me. Sari and I have known <laughs> each other for years, but we never met before. But it compliments the, the guitar, your voice, and hers. Yeah, she's awesome, man. It, she's you know, the whole band. Just, you she's know, Things on the record. Yeah, oh, amazing, amazing. You haven't, you still have fun like you did when you first started. I love doing it, this? man. I love playing music. I'm, I was just having a conversation in the green room with uh, your buddy, man, and um, I was telling him how. Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's a big uh, appreciator. Yeah, he's a good guitar. cat, yeah, yeah. and he knows a lot about music. We were talking yeah. about um, playing in L.A. back in the day and stuff, and I'm, I was just saying how like. I'm just grateful to be make a living, making a living doing what I love. What I mean, you do, you're making a living doing this. I'm watching you play. It looks like a blast. Like if I was that good at something, I, I would enjoy it too. You know, that's why Jordan kept playing basketball. Amen. Right, John? That's I mean, you're. Right. Would you consider John is a musician? He always downplays it. But uh, you know, uh, he's he's a well below average guitar player. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> no, yeah. guitar's, guitar's an idiot's instrument. No, no. I, mean, Unless you're Jimmy I don't know what even that. I, I can't even respond to that. I've tried. It's unbelievable. You're. Uh... Man, you're blazing. The virtuoso. Show. I mean, oh. speaking Jimi Hendrix. I mean, you're you're Stevie Ray Vaughan, Jimi Hendrix. Oh, I mean, very you, bluesy kind, really. and just who are your shredding guys? That Jim, Jimmy's one of my main guys. But yeah, I, man, of course, right. I'm into music, man. I just love anybody who speaks from the soul, man. And and in art in general, it could be music, it could be art, it could be acting, right? Comedy, whatever. Anything, yeah, sure. Anybody who keeps it real, man, and gives yeah. it to you, man. Then you recognize honesty, it. but to, but to portray an honesty playing an instrument is very difficult to do. Like like the difference between a technical wizard and someone who's got soul. Like you know, uh, you, yeah. You, you, I mean, you, 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 gotta be, you embody both of those things. Yeah, you gotta be you gotta be fearless. Yes. So if you realize that you suck anyway, you have nothing to lose. You know, again, <laughs> well, well, again, the uh, I hate to keep bringing this up. I always bring. I just saw a great documentary on Ginger Baker. And he, the only argument he made for heroin, he goes, everything else was a living hell. He goes, but the first time I tried it, he goes, as a drummer yeah. on Smack, you were fearless. That's right. You that's what I called, it, it, that's you, what I called it heroin. Right. Yeah, that was you, a brand name. You didn't go, you didn't care where you went. No, you know, I get it, bro. It created, and uh, they, they interviewed Santana in that uh, documentary. And he's like, you know, there's sometimes when, you know, something takes over and you hear music back that you play and you don't know how you did it. You know, it's like a... Yeah, mm -hmm. Carlos yep. is the man, man. Right. Carlos used to, I remember reading an article with him and guitar player back in the 70s where he said he used to take LSD just to feel pain. <laughs> and I went, yeah, I, I think oh, I remember that. Now, did you, did you have issues with the substances way back when? Or? Yeah, yeah, I did, yeah. man. What would you partake in? Everything or...? Dude, everything. Man. Yeah. Back in the day, That's you know, I, I grew up in the 70s in, right. in New York, so... Right. You were here like, for what the... did you do? I, I lived in Queens... We'd get Easter money from Ann Arlene and then get in the car <laughs> and go down to Lower East Side and cop dope. Yeah, you know? now that, 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 the, the city was dangerous back then, but in a real, real fun, artistic, gritty yeah, way. Until you got strung out, then it wasn't fun anymore. And so what happened? How'd you, how'd you beat that? I stopped, man. I stopped in 19... On your own? In, I, uh, I, wanted, I wanted to yeah. program for a while. Okay. And I, I stayed there for a while, and then I kind of outgrew it. Yeah. And um, just never went back, man. You know, it, it Good just, for you. Yeah, you know, I, I, you know, I got on with my life. Right. That was the bottom line, and it didn't fit anymore, and I didn't want it anymore. I didn't Were want you shooting it? I didn't want to be, yeah. yeah I mean, I've been lined up. Right. Sure. Yeah. Along with every other musician who moved to the... I moved to the East Village in 1980. <laughs> Ave Avenue B... Wow. And 7th in Street. In 1980. Okay? Oh, and my God. And on my stoop, they sold cocaine and heroin. <laughs> and all I thought when I was, like, 21 or 20 and 19, it was like, this is great. Of course. You know? Yeah, like, yeah, This yeah. is so cool. And you're a musician. Yeah. You know, and you're... But it didn't work out too well. Right. You know, three years later, I had no apartment, no girlfriend, no guitar. It all went down uh, the rabbit hole. Yeah, as it always does. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. So, um... Well, but that makes it all uh, so much better that you're still here doing this, man. Hey, Amen, bro. It's great. It's great. Uh, where are you going to next? What's going on? Man, we're going back out. Uh, we're going to France next week to do a big festival. And then awesome. in wow. October, we're going to be in Australia with Sari. 
Great. At uh, the great uh, Rhythm and Blues Festival there. And then we're doing the legendary Rhythm and Blues Cruise um, out of Fort Lauderdale. That's for amazing. Yes, yeah, That be sounds awesome. like fun, man. And then November, we're touring in Europe the whole month. And, you know, the record's been out. It's been on the Billboard Blues Charts. Once again, we well, got a website or Twitter? Yeah, or what do we do here? www.papachubby.com, man. It's Papa Chubby, there, and you can buy it there. And uh, Universal Breakdown Blues. Where's that come from? Just like... It's just my idea, Embodies man. all the blues. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, it's like that's what's going on, man. The universe is breaking down, man. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> blues keeps it all going. Well, uh, listen, you guys, please come back anytime and safe Thanks, travels, man. right? Great to Universal see you, Universal Breakdown Blues. You as well. Uh, Papa Chubby and...